why do you keep doing that to your face? <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks very much. And he's like, no, no, I just thinks it looks like you've been splattered with some dirt. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it does look like that. You're right, it really does. Hi, I hope you're all well. If you are new around here, hello. It is lovely to meet you. And if you are returning, thank you very fucking much for coming back. My name is Alana and I'm a 36 year old lady living in Scotland and that is where my accent is from. On this channel, we predominantly talk all things beauty, skin, hair, lifestyle, travelly, bloggery, vloggery, bullshit. But with a liberal sprinkling of sarcasm, cynicism and some might say honesty thrown in on top. So this intro is a little bit different because I, hopefully you can see, I'm rather bronzed from my normal Normal, can you see my normal peely welly white colour? I have a tan. I have been on holiday, but I did film a few things before I went away on holiday that I just didn't get a chance to put up. So I am going to continue to put them up anyway, and this is just my little prelude to that, so you know that's what's happening. So this video is going to be my monthly roundup for May, <laughs> even though I think we're now on the 12th of June or something. We're quite far into June, let's face it. I've not kept up with things here. So let's just call that current favourites instead. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't do one for June. We'll just have this little funny one in the middle of these two months because I've been a little bit busy. But I have this and I also have a cup she haul coming up as well, which is a swimwear bikini type of haul. So I want to be able to put that up as well because I think for this time of year that might still be really useful to some people. So this is going to be my current favourites. I'm going to just let you get into the footage that I filmed before I went on holiday so you will see there is quite an alarming difference in the colour of me but I told you even though I'm Scottish and peely welly white I do actually take a tan I don't go totally lobster red as long as I wear my SPF so so with all that being said if I then in this video gesture towards the fact that I am going on holiday you know now that I've already been on it but what can I say I'm probably the worst youtuber in the world can never get things up on time but that's life busy 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 all right so first things first let's start off with some skincare uh, either things that I'm still absolutely loving or things that I've tried new throughout this month I spoke about this in the last couple of monthly roundups I'm really really enjoying it it's the B by Superdrug Hydrate Hydrating Face Mist and it has got glycerin and vitamin B5 very very nice I have another one of these backed up after this one finishes I'm pretty sure they're still doing them an offer for like buy one get one half price or buy one get one free at the moment they are normally $9.99 but again I think they have seen them on offer for $4.99 at points very very nice stuff really enjoying it um however there's a couple of things that I'm kind of not really enjoying and this was actually sent to me from Avon it's part of their a new range it's their hydrate and plump concentrate hyaluronic acid complex um, as you can see, I've not used loads out of it. Maybe here. I think I tried it for about a week and I love a hyaluronic acid. Now I have dry skin, but in the summer months I'm probably a little bit more normal skinned, but I still love a hyaluronic acid serum. I've used many over the years. I particularly love the Isn Tree one and that is the one that I've repurchased for a while now, but I thought let's give this one a go, why not? Unfortunately, I don't know if it's um, like the SPF that I'm using with it or it might be something I'm using, like whatever base I'm using. This has really, really pilled on me whenever I've used it with whatever products I've used as well, I have to say. I've tried different SPFs and I've also tried different bases and things, but no matter what I use with this, it just seems to pill really badly. So I am gonna pass this on to someone else to let them try it, but for me, it's a no. Um, it was sent to me as I say, but I would not purchase this with my own money. Um, the other one I'm actually still trying at the moment, I can't really say anything about, it's the Renewal Power Serum. I've seen a lot of kind of promotion around this. I've seen other people being sent PR boxes for it and stuff, and it's Protonol, which I know it's not retinol, it won't be real retinol, but I've used it once or twice. I'm kind of like, mm. I do use a regular retinol. I use Dermatica. Um, so I, I kind of am like, I may as well just pass this on to someone else because I've used it maybe mm, about two or three times or maybe more than that. Actually, there's a decent amount out of that. Um, but I just don't think it's for me. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Whereas this one, I can actually say, oh, there's something like it pills on me. This one, there's nothing wrong with. I'm just kind of a little bit like, mm, I don't really need it. So I'm going to pass that on too. However, the a new lifting dual eye system I spoke about this last month as well I'm sure I did I have made a hefty dent in now I'm not nearly finished but I can see the bottom of one side on this side and I think this is a lovely eye cream I absolutely would repurchase this I'm really really enjoying it now another skin item which has its own video 
is this, but I am going to mention it because I've been using it as part of my skincare throughout trying out my self-tan trials. This is the Garnier Ombro Solaire Natural Bronzer. It's the self-tan face drops. I'm going to put the video up here, so if you want to see some more information on it, then go ahead. I basically was using this as my hyaluronic acid. Um, I, I started using this at the start of the month, and when I started doing the tanning, I swapped it in for this. Partly because I was like, I don't want to use this anymore either, but this has hyaluronic acid water in it. Um, I will use these up, but I'm kind of like, maybe I'll use them up once I'm back my holiday, I'll be a bit, little bit deeper and I'll just continue to use them to keep my tan topped up, but I don't think I will buy them again. I don't know what it was. I think maybe because I do use a retinol, there was bits and patches. You'll see it in the video. Go and watch that video. There was kind of areas where I was like, why is that just lifting off? And the rest of it was still tanned. It was a little bit strange. I'm not saying it was necessarily a fault of the product. I think it is because of other items that I was using in my skincare, uh, like retinol, which can sometimes like lift the top layers of your skin and cause peeling. So that is why I probably wouldn't pick it up again because I will continue to use retinol but the product itself was nice I did get a little bit of a glow but I won't I won't buy this again now these two might more come under actual makeup but I'm going to put them into skincare just because I'm chatting about it now I have made a decent dent in the hydro grip primer I haven't used it daily I really haven't sorry the milk hydro grip primer I should say um and this is one that it said like it claims 12 hours later your skin's still hydrated all that kind of stuff and considering I'm somebody who has dry skin I really gave this a good whirl and I have to say I still stand by what I said when I said my first impressions I do actually think this has a really good effect with holding on makeup a little bit longer it was never something I was desperately looking for I wasn't like desperately wanting my makeup to last all day I'm the kind of person that as you can probably see my lipstick's half worn off if it starts to wear down doesn't really bother me that much. Um, if I'm on a night or something, I'll go and reapply. It's not something that really bothers me if throughout the day my blush starts to wear down a little bit or anything. So it wasn't something I was looking for, but I most definitely think it does do what it says on the tin. So I do think this is quite a nice product. The Hydro Grip Spray, however, what's it called? Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I do think this is really nice. I'm actually just gonna spray it on my face now, why not? Now, I have never used one without the other, so I couldn't say that this definitely does the grip side of things and keeps things longer lasting, because I've always used it with this, but I have used this on its own just for days where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna spritz over the top, and you know, it's halfway through the day anyway, and maybe my makeup was a little bit kind of worn down. So I do think this is quite nice. It's a very nice hydrating spray, but I have lots of hydrating sprays, like this to this, I, I don't feel too much difference. And I think that's just because I'm the kind of person that's like, I'm not that worried about the wear down of makeup that often, but I do like a little refresh of my makeup. I feel like this would be really good if you'd already had your makeup on all day and you're obviously not gonna reapply anything like this and you want to change up your makeup or you wanna change up the look a little bit, you're going out later in the evening, for instance, and you already had something on during work hours, little spritz of this, little top up in the areas you need it. Then I think this is a really good product for that, but, if I am going into work for a 12 and a half hour shift, I ain't topping up, <laughs> I ain't topping up no makeup. But as I said, I did try this and this together at the start of a 12 and a half hour shift. And at the end of it, I was like, okay, I still have blush on my face. I still have things on my face at the end of 12 and a half hours. So I do think there is some magic to these, but I would probably buy this one again and leave this one just because I don't need it. Now, I did speak about these at the start of the month as well. These are the Monday shampoo and conditioner. I'm hoping you can see that there. Can you see it says Monday? It's kind of bleached out a little bit by the lights, but this is the volume range of shampoo and conditioner with ginger extracts. Now what I'm gonna say is, I don't feel these add any volume, right? But hear me out here. I do feel like they're quite good clarifying shampoos. So I am someone that uses, I use like the John Frieda volume lift or whatever it's called. I've bought it for years, over a decade. And I've always said, I don't think it makes your hair thicker, but I think it makes your hair better for styling if you want to add a little bit of volume. I have got very, very straight natural hair. This is my hair naturally. I have not put straighteners through my hair. And I do think sometimes it's a little lank and a little limp. Um, so I always like to use a volumizing shampoo because I find they are less likely to weigh my hair down. So I do think these were good for that because I feel like they're very clarifying. They kept my hair very clean. So that meant that my hair wasn't weighed down and it meant that styling it and trying to get it a little volumized worked. But I'm not necessarily thinking that there's things in this that help post 
shampoo and conditioner with styling, whereas I think the John Frieda one there is, it styles a little bit better when I've used that shampoo and conditioner, whereas this is just a really, really nice clarifying shampoo. That's what I would say. It says volume and I get why, because it doesn't weigh the hair down. So it probably will make it easier to make it look voluminous. But personally, I just think they're a really nice clarifying shampoo. The other thing I would like to say is that the smell is really, really nice. I don't think I can unscrew the lid it's, oh no I can, that's fine. The smell is really nice. I can't put my finger on what it is. Is it ginger? But it's just a really nice scent. It's not like overly sickly sweet or anything like that. It kind of smells a little bit like salon style products and I think it's very, very nice. These were also very, very reasonable. So something to look into if you're interested. They're also very nice packaging as well, let's face it. But I wouldn't be adverse to picking these up again. I think I probably would if I couldn't get hold of my John Frieda. Um, but I don't necessarily think that they volumise my hair. Now, the Rituals, um, Ritual of Ayurveda that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this is nearly done actually. I'm gonna to have to put this in an empty soon. I've been using this pretty much every day since I picked it up and that's probably why it's nearly empty. Really enjoyed it, thought it was really nice throughout the month. They are a little bit more pricey for a shower gel but I treated myself and I've liked it. What I am gonna say is actually, I think in the watch new video, I talked about these, didn't I? I picked these up from Studio London. Studio London, by the way, are a makeup brand. They're relatively new that I love but this is originally what they used to do, like tools and things like that, nail clippers, brushes, um, face sponges, all that kind of stuff. This is what they used to do only, and now they have a makeup brand as well. And this has one, two, three, four, is it just four? Did it come with four sponges or five? I cannot remember now, but it's got little mini sponges and things in it. I'm gonna tell you right now, don't waste your fucking money. Don't waste your money. Even if it's a cheap product, don't waste your money. It was quite funny actually, I looked these up so that I could link them for that video. And when you looked at the reviews on the Superdog website, every single one of them was like, these are terrible. They do not get soft. It's just like, there's no point putting them underwater. They don't change whatsoever. They are rock solid. And I'm sorry, but I have to agree. They are not good sponges whatsoever. They're very, very stiff. And when you put them underwater, they don't expand. They don't get any bigger. There is no change to them when you put them underwater. I do not like them, do not buy them. However, I picked up this little pack from Primark and it is four blender sponges, very, very similar sizes to the one from the Superdrug. And I've got one in use at the moment, but there's obviously like a bigger one for like a beauty blender size and then like a little tiny one for like these areas here. These are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, as good as a beauty blender, maybe not as good, but considering you're getting four for three pound, I would say they're very much up there as good and worth the money. Very good sponges. I also got myself a new razor this month. I never really spoke about it, but I picked up one of these simply because for years I have used the Gillette Venus range. For years, love it. And I usually like the one with the two bits of gel, like the very big ones, because I like that it's got the kind of lotion-y stuff on it as well. But the prices of razors for like a pack of three razors is absolutely astronomical. So I decided I was gonna make a change and I picked this one up from Estrid. Now Estrid have reached out to me in emails before to see if I wanted to do like a wee collaboration or an affiliation and stuff like that. And I've never responded just because I always thought it's not something like I'm ever gonna be talking about. I, I don't know why, just because it's stuff that people aren't really that bothered about. But I thought I'm not going to really post about that on Instagram or anything. Like people buy razors, if they buy razors, they buy razors, it's fine. But I suppose if I spoke about my wild deodorant on here, then I may as well speak about my razors too. So I picked up one of these. I think the set for one of these and a razor cost me 11 pounds, right? And it comes with like a thing you can hang it in the shower and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then this pack here was for four of the blades, four of the cartridges. And I think this, let me just check the price of this. So it was 11.95 for a pack of four, which still seems kind of steep, 12 for a pack of four, but the Gillette ones now are probably closer to like 14 quid for a pack of three. So actually these are better. And so far I've used two of the, I think I've used two of the cartridges and they're really, really good. I'm really enjoying them. Uh, I think if you go through Estrid, you can do it so you can set up like a monthly subscription almost. You tell them like how often you shave your legs and how much you think you would need. You can get them like quarterly, monthly, whatever it is you need. 
um, and it's maybe a bit cheaper if you do it that way but I just picked it up in Boots because I'll get my points on it too so I got a new razor too and I thought it was quite nice. Now moving on to makeup again a lot of this stuff I've probably already kind of spoke about briefly but I think I'm just going to round it up for you quickly. I definitely spoke about these um it was in my Beauty Bay haul video, which I did not pick these up in Beauty Bay. I think I got these in Superdrug. Uh, one is the Mina. Thank you very much for letting me know how to pronounce that. I very much appreciate it. And you know what was weird? I actually ended up seeing how it was pronounced um, before somebody commented that and I thought, oh God. And then when somebody else commented it on my video, I was like, oh, thanks for it. I think it was Jilly. Thank you very much for letting me know because I've been saying like three Ina. And I've been saying three Ina for years. So, Mina. Um, but it is a three though, right? I'm not like just making that up. It is a three on its side. It's not just an, it's weird. I don't know. And this is their 482, the color pen eyeliner. It's like a violet eyeliner. I do think this is very nice, but not for a lot of graphic work, just for a really nice flick. Very, very good. However, the Barry M High Vis liquid liners, I was not super impressed with. And again, I think it was Jillian that commented saying that the High Vid pencils are really good and I could not agree more. That's why I wanted to try these because the high vid pencils I have gotten like Riot, I think that's like the pink one. I've got an electric blue color and like a lime green color and they are so, so vibrant for pencil eyeliners. These however, just were a bit wishy-washy and I wasn't into them. So save your money on these, buy the pencils instead because they are fantastic. Now I'm not gonna go through absolutely everything that I got in my Made by Mitchell bag or what I got in the Beauty Bay haul, but I'm just gonna quickly jump into these things from Made by Mitchell because again, a lot of people, well maybe like two or three people had commented being like, okay, so the blush that I got, I got this color here, which is Melon Sorbet, and I also got one that was called Minted, which was like an icy blue aqua color. And I was laughing and I just, I thought it was hilarious when I was like, this is a blue blusher. I know that these can be used on other areas of the face. And let me tell you, even if it didn't say that, I would still be happy to try them on other areas of the face. Um, try not take me too literally. I'm very sarcastic. Um, so I just felt like this is obviously marketed though. It's called blush. I mean, come on, it's called blush. So if anybody buys this or bought that bag and they're not like some sort of makeup like addict such as myself, then they're gonna think they got a blue blush. They are, but like, I think the majority of people would probably think that. That was my kind of my point. But you're absolutely right. They can be used on eyes and lips and all other areas of the face. That's kind of why I said in that video, this is much more suited to someone who's like a makeup artist, for instance. And I would probably pass it on to someone who does that kind of work. Because a blue blush, a blue kind of shade like that, I am not gonna use that often. Yes, I could put it on my eyes, but I don't wear shades like that so often. And actually that shade of blue is probably not something I wear on my eyes very often. However, the Half Magic Blue, I'm gonna put the video up here where I've actually used it, is a more periwinkle blue. I'm more inclined to wear shades like that, whereas the minted color, I've never, I don't think I've ever really put on shades like that on my eyes. Um, not that I wouldn't, but it's not something that I'm gonna get loads and loads of use out of, so I would rather pass on the minted blush to someone who's gonna get more use out of it. So thank you very much for letting me know that, but I, I did already know that. I just meant in that video, it was quite amusing because you're getting a mystery bag and of course one of the blushers is blue. Um, and I think that's probably because it wasn't selling that well because it's not available anymore. You can't, you can't, they're not selling it anymore. So it's probably went into the mystery bags. That's what I meant. The brushes, however, this is the one I've been using with the Melon Sorbet. I actually have wore this to work all week. Put this in my work bag. Very, very nice, easy to blend out. These are a little bit more matte than I usually wear. Not matte, that's not true. They're like a satin, they're not matte, but they don't have a glow like a lot of blushes that I like to wear. But I think this color is beautiful. The brush works beautifully. I'm really, really impressed with these. I think it's very nice. Again, obviously you could wear this on your lips, your eyes. Put it on your fucking toes for all I care. You can put it wherever you like. I think it's very good. However, the lip gloss, uh, Beam, is that what it's called? The Beam. I did not enjoy this. And I think I've said that in a couple of videos now. The first one, when I showed this as well, and that Beauty Bay kind of get ready with me video, it's too, like, um, ugh, bitty. It's too bitty. I just didn't enjoy it. Not to say that I wouldn't try it in other colors, but that's almost put me off it a little bit. Like, they're, I think they do like milky ones as well, but this one is in copper dropper, so it's in like a kind of metallic-y shade. It's not overly metallic on the lips, but it's in that metallic shade. But honest to God, I just feel like it's too gritty. Like, you can feel the little bits of glitter or shimmer in it. I don't enjoy it. 
Now I mentioned this briefly there, the half magic, uh, what are these called, chrome addictions. Um, and I have the shade sky blue, is it sky blue? And I also got the one in main character. Main character is nice, but as I said, it's not as opaque as this one. I think this one is stunning. I love the colour. Um, if you haven't seen the colour, if you've never seen it before, maybe this is the first video you've ever seen of mine, that is it there. Oh, it's gorgeous, it's so nice. As I say, as you're watching this, I am probably sunning myself in Lanzarote. I will have taken this with me because I bought a dress that is very, very close to this and I have to say, this is beautiful. I probably, I might wear it as a shadow, but it can be used as a liner as well perfection. It is so, so nice. Impressed with this as far as the matte ones go. The shimmery one, I wasn't, I probably won't pick another one up. Not unless, I was going to say not unless there's a colour I'm really into, but I have to admit, I just wasn't taken with the shimmery one, but this one is lovely. The other thing that I've really enjoyed from that Beauty Bay haul is the glow filter. I think I kind of spoke about that in the Get Ready With Me as well. I have also been taking this to work every day and been using it as a base. It's glorious, it's what I've gotten today as well. I just think it is lovely. I'm really, really impressed with this. Uh, I think, oh my God, was it Irene? I think it was Irene. Someone commented saying, when I said, this reminds me of someone else and I couldn't put my finger on. Is it the L'Oreal Glow Serum or something? And I thought they meant the Glow Cherie because I've got that. I'm not gonna go and get it to show you. I'll put a picture here instead. The L'Oreal Glow Cherie and I was like, yes. That is exactly what it kind of reminds me of. This is maybe a little bit thicker, more viscose in consistency, but not heavier. I'm not saying it's heavy, but very, very similar. Yes, very, very similar. However, that is not actually what Irene was talking about. She's talking about something else, so my apologies, but that is what this reminds me of. I think it's very, very nice. I also mentioned these at the start of the month, and this is the glossy G suits. I have got the red one on today. This has been on all day, so you can see it's completely wearing down. I am not gonna go into too much detail about this either because again, I have a whole video, a wear test and everything, talking you through these items, whether or not you should buy them, go and check the video out. But long story short is, I think there's other things from Glossy you can pick up that are a little nicer. But if you wanna see that video, it'll be in the corner. If you want a decent dupe for them, I would say these. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have had many of these over the years. I just picked this colour up, which is Can, because I thought it was a really good match for one of the glossy G suits. I was basically thought it was the same as Curve. There is a slight colour difference there, but not too much. They are a fraction of the cost. I like these, they're great. Try them out and save yourself some money. I'm also gonna give a little shout out to Studio London again, actually. And basically these are two shades that I did not own. I love the Colour Icon eyeshadow pigments from Colour London, considering these are a fiver. They're a five pound a pop. You don't need a lot of them. This shade is glorious. I am gonna put a photo here of me wearing it. I put up a reel as well. I'm not gonna share the reel, but I used this the other day and so many people were like, that shadow is amazing. Five pound. Five pound and that was all that was on my eyes. It is stunning. This one is called Out There Orange. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe get a little orange blush to match. And this one is called Empower. And does it look kind of corally on the screen? It's like a proper orange color in real life, just in case it looks like it's a little corally on the screen there. But very, very vibrant orange color. And the two together is a little bit of a monochromatic moment. Fucking perfection. Thank you very much. So, I think that is about everything. Uh, oh, no, let me just, let me just talk about this. First of all, can we talk about the fact that all of the writing, look at this. I kept, my fingers kept getting dirty when I was using this and I was like, what's going on here? Basically, all of the writing is coming off this and I have only used this maybe four times, right? This is the one I was talking about, uh, again, mentioned it briefly, but didn't go into any detail, from Rev Relovevolution. Relove Revolution, I don't know, whatever. They've got so many fucking different areas and different brands now. But this is the freckle pen. The reason I wanted to get this was I used to love the Lottie London freckle tint. I've heard a lot about the brand called Freck, but they're a little expensive. I wanted to try something more in the budget range. I have also just used powders and things like that to put freckles on my face in the summer. I do get freckles in the summer. I get more, probably more like sun damage and melasma around about these areas. This is where my freckles come up very minimal on the nose, I don't get lots there, but I get them here, right? So I like to accentuate them a little bit. And generally what I do with any freckle product is I pop it on like that, or I put some on my fingers and just stamp lightly and spread them out so they look kind of natural. 
This, I don't think you could ever get natural with this. I'm gonna zoom you in to show you what I've done to my face today. It's horrific, but this is me being able to show you why I don't like this product. And here we go here. Now, it literally just looks like I have drawn dots on my face. And the problem is that maybe looking forward, this doesn't look too horrific and these areas look bad. But the problem is when you dot on with this, I'm just gonna show you. So say you just put a few like sparse ones, lighter ones, and then a big one like this. Usually you can do that and blend them about your face. But as you can see, you can't do that with these ones. They don't move once they are on your face. They just do not move at all. Even if you do it super quickly, they're just there on your face. And I feel like they are very, very dark as well for freckles. Like, yes, okay, I have freckles maybe like on my arm that are as dark as this, but in the sun, in the summer, I don't get freckles this dark on my face. I feel like freckles of that depth are something that people are born with. You know when you see, I've seen people who are just like absolutely stunning and model-esque pictures and they've got amazing freckles across their face and they are very, very dark like that, but it's natural. And when I see that, I'm like, oh, you are beautiful. Like, I just love that. But it isn't natural on me because I do not naturally have that look. Whereas the way that I usually would put freckles on is to make it look like some of my natural freckles have come out. And this just does not look like that. It just looks so, so false. Anytime I've used this, Alan has been like, why do you keep doing that to your face? <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks very much. And he's like, no, no, I just think it looks like you've been splattered with some dirt. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it does look like that. You're right, it really does. I do not like this product. I think it is absolutely shite. I do not like it at all. And I would not recommend it. And I think that is everything for this monthly roundup. Um, I've probably tried a few other things throughout the month, but I've just forgot to fucking talk about them. I'm really sorry if I said I was going to let you know about something that I've not came back to. Please comment down below if there is something you want to know about. As I say, I've got all my kind of self-tan videos going up. And Oh, that's a good point, actually. The skinny tan I just recently used, and I am still trying to get the horrible streaks off my skin. So as a little bit of a disclaimer, because as I film this, I have told you I'll probably be on holiday, I decided to bump back the Saint Tropez tan. I thought, you know what, I'll do it the night before I go on holiday, we'll see how it works. But in all honesty, it's taken so long for this one to wear down, even using the tan remover, it just doesn't seem to want to budge that I'm gonna use the Saint Tropez one later on in the summer to try and keep hold of my tan once I come back from a holiday. So I really wanted to finish up the series and show you all three of the tanners, but as things have worked out, we've booked a last minute holiday and I couldn't get this stuff off. And I've still got a little bit of the old tan on. It wouldn't be a very fair or justified way to review the tanner. So I'm gonna to wait till later on in the summer to do the Saint Tropez one. I'm really sorry to let you down there, but it's just the way things have worked out. Anyway, that is where I'm gonna leave this one. I hope you're all having a lovely week, a lovely morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.